Hello and welcome to the Lawrence Plays channel for the official announcement of my next major stream series. I should be playing XCOM 2 War of the Chosen starting on Wednesday the 7th of June and this means there is a chance for you to volunteer to join the resistance. If you would like to join the fight against the alien menace you can create a soldier using the XCOM 2 propaganda center and be part of the action. The propaganda center is a free download available on Steam. Install and run it then select the character pool option and create character. I suggest starting with the character info, where you can name your character, including a nickname. I expect to generally use the nickname to refer to characters, so choose appropriately. Make sure you give them reasonably family-friendly names. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to risk getting my videos demonetized for somebody's nickname. You can also pick some basic settings for your characters here, such as ethnicity and attitude. On it. The next two sections allow you to play dresser, choose your character's hairstyle and eye colour, and so on. Again, go nuts. I'm not planning for a super serious playthrough, however, I would recommend that you make sure your face is visible. If everyone's face is covered by a helmet, it's a bit of a waste of the soldier editor. This isn't a hard and fast rule, merely a suggestion to keep things interesting. Colour their armour and weapons however you want. A hot pink gun won't break concealment. With soldier type, you can choose either human or robot, however, I would recommend that at least most people choose the human soldier. They will probably significantly outnumber the robotic sparks, so you'll have a much better chance of appearing in the game. The soldier class option is entirely cosmetic and only applies inside the propaganda centre. You can change it to see what you'll look like as different classes, but it won't lock you to appearing as that class in game. Finally, there are the checkboxes. This allows you to choose the roles your creation can play. Soldiers are the actual XCOM agents who will appear in all the missions. This is clearly the most desirable role, as you'll get the most screen time, but depending on how many submissions I get, there may not be enough soldiers for everyone. If you select VIP or Dark VIP, you'll be more likely to appear, but might show up just as a one-off plot element in a mission, as somebody who needs protecting or assassinating, respectively. Once you've finished creating your avatar, click back to return to the character pool. Tick the box next to the character you've just created, then export selection. Create a new character pool, call it whatever you like, and then select it again to export to that pool. The next part is a little tricky. You need to send your character over to me. The files are saved in your documents folder in the subdirectory, and I'll put this on screen, uh, documents, my games, XCOM 2, propaganda center, XCOM game, character pool, importable. <laughs> send me the file for the character pool you just created as a Discord direct message and I'll add you in. A few quick notes though. Firstly, I don't intend to play with any additional cosmetic mods, so if you've installed something to make you look like the Mandalorian, don't use it or your character probably won't be valid. I will be giving priority to characters created by channel supporters, so if you're not already a supporter, now's your chance. Sign up on Ko-Fi, become a Twitch subscriber or a YouTube member, and you can jump to the front of the queue. Links are in the description. Finally, if you fancy playing along with this run, XCOM 2 is currently on sale, so you can grab the whole bundle for a very reasonable price. Thanks for watching, I look forward to seeing your characters and bringing them into battle in June. I'll see you then.